Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanWeather.com and today we are going to have a look on the Lumia camera of the latest Lumia Daydream software. As we have already know, Lumia Daydream brings lots of new features and functionality to the Windows Phone 8.1 devices and one of them is the Lumia camera. So the Lumia camera comes with uh, the 4K HD uh, video recording, uh, rich capture mode, burst mode, continuous timer, continuous autofocus and lots of new features which will bring to your Windows Phone 8.1 device. So in this video we will have a look on the Lumia camera uh, of the Lumia Denim OS update. So here we are having a Nokia Lumia 930. So let's have a look. The very first thing about the latest Lumia camera is that the startup time, the boot up time is very fast. So as you can see, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put my finger here and click the dedicated camera key and the camera is on. If you're having a Nokia Lumia 1530, 1320 or 830 or 930, you should be knowing that earlier there is, this step was uh, a, a bit delayed like when you're Starting the camera used to take around one second or 1.5 second, but now it's really very fast. So first of all, let's start with the setting and let's have a look on what are the features which we get in the uh, Lumia Denim update in the Lumia camera. Here you can see few of the lenses which you can find in the settings like Lumia Selfie, Lumia Refocus, and there are more lenses. Okay. Then there is the timer application. In timer, the interesting thing is that this is a continuous timer application. That means if you select out of these three options, two seconds, five seconds, or 10 seconds, your Lumia camera will keep taking pictures continuously until and unless you will not press the camera button once again. So uh, this is a pretty good feature for selfie lovers actually. They can continuously take snaps without even um, using their finger so go back and then there's a bracketing and now the Lumia camera comes with the photo burst mode as well which was earlier available in the Microsoft camera only and for the camera key press and hold you can assign the task which you want it to be uh, performed like if you will press the camera key and hold for a second you can either assign it to capture, start capturing the video or the photo burst or you can just disable it at all. So right now it's set at the photo burst mode. Then there are framing grids. It is pretty common like rule of third, golden ratio, crosshair. If you are good in photography, you should be knowing about this term. And then let's go to the photo. Then the living images, which was earlier available in the uh, Nokia Lumia 730 and 830 or only the Lumia Denim uh, camera which was uh, available in the previous version of Lumia Denim. This feature was available living images which is now available uh, in all the Windows Phone devices which are having the Lumia Denim software now. So living images is a feature like if you don't know, uh, living is a feature in which the camera takes uh, around two seconds of video before taking a picture. So like when you, you are watching a video, uh, a picture in the camera roll, you will see it going live. That's why the name is called Living Images. Then there are some basic features which were previously available as well. And here you can select the mode, just like the previous Lumia camera. There, whether you want a JPEG image of 5 MP only or 5 plus 16 MP depending on your camera. And uh, now it supports uh, DNG files as well, as you can see. Now let's go to video. Now the very interesting thing about the latest Lumia camera is that it supports 4K HD video recording as you can see here. Uh, if you're having a Nokia Lumia 830 then unfortunately you will not, not have this feature. It is supported by only uh, Lumia Icon, Lumia Line 30 like this and Lumia 1520. So now you can select from 720p at 24 fps to have lots of options for the video quality 2160p that's 4k hd video recording at 30 fps so 
this is really a nice feature if you are so much into taking videos and then there is the surround sound option which was previously available as well so then there is info uh, which talks about the device then general which we have seen already so let's go back to the camera now okay now one of the very interesting feature of this device is the rich capture mode uh, rich capture brings three modes in it which are called dynamic sdr dynamic exposure and dynamic flashlight so as you can get the idea by the name itself that there are dynamic functionality for these three things so how to use the uh, rich capture mode on the latest lumia camera after the lumia denim update so first of all you will have to activate it by tapping on this magic one you can see rich capture on the message just came then uh, you can use it either with the flash or without flash the best thing is to select the auto mode on the flash and let the camera decide what is what are the most suitable options to capture the picture so if you are having the rich capture mode on and flash is on in either auto mode or whatever so depending on the scenario uh, the lumia camera will capture the image in the best possible situation and then you can later uh, uh, edit it so uh, based on the uh, condition lighting condition and all you will get one of the three options like either you will be able to edit the dynamic SDR or dynamic exposure or dynamic flash so now I will give you some ideas let's go to the camera roll I'm already having few pictures taken here is the example of 4k video which you can see here that we are not interested in that anymore so for example this picture I took this picture with the rich SDR mode and to edit this picture and to see uh, what were the settings used in this while taking this picture and how to edit it just touch on the screen and then you will see the edit rich capture just tap on it and you can see dynamic exposure option that means uh, when this pic was taken the SDR mode was off and the camera didn't use the flash as well so now we are having the three options long short customize if you are taking long exposure the picture is like this you can make it short and the picture will be a bit darkened as you can see now I, I'm, I don't think you can get exact idea on this video and then there is the customized option where you can select the exposure level that's why it is called dynamic exposure so this is about uh, the dynamic exposure let's have a look on another example okay uh, in this picture the flash is used so here are the four options dynamic flash there is the default then with flash without flash and once again the customize in customize if you tap you can select the level of flash which you need for this pick as you can see I am moving a slider and the level of flash used is changing so the name is dynamic flash and let's go and have a look on the dynamic str mode all these pictures are in dynamic str okay let's go with this pic which i have taken this is me so this picture is having the hdr mode under the rich capture section so there are four options once again once uh, the first one is the natural then there is no hdr then there is artistic sdr mode and then once again here is customized one thing there is a slider which you can use to change the level of HDR as you can see right now I'm just moving the slider and the level of HDR is changing in the picture so this is what the rich capture mode does in the latest Lumia camera which comes with the Lumia, uh, Lumia denim update so
let's go back to the camera now and let's have a look on the rest of these settings here is uh, to turn on the front camera here is the flash as you can see if you tap on this just like the previous Lumia camera you can you will get the manual option for uh, brightness exposure ISO uh, mode and here is the focus as you can see and once again you can get this manual control just like the previous version of our Lumia camera as you can see and uh, then here is the video camera mode uh, one feature which is missing in this Lumia camera is the smart sequence which was available in the previous camera of uh, Lumia Denim update so now the smart sequence is uh, available but in another application for example let me play a video okay so while this video is playing if you tap on it you can see the option to select moment if you tap on it there is another application called Lumia moments which you will have to download separately and in this uh, Lumia moment application you can either make the action shot which was available in the smart sequence as you can see here or you can select the best frame which was also part of the smart sequence uh, function on the previous Lumia camera so you will have to get this Lumia moment application which you can see here to get the smart sequence on your phone and uh, if uh, you are not liking the latest Lumia camera much then you can even have the uh, old classic Lumia camera which is Lumia camera classic you will just have to go to the Windows Phone Store and download this application which you can see here is the smart sequence with all the function and functionality and this camera also supports few of the features available in the latest Lumia Denim camera so here is our Lumia camera Lumia Denim camera and uh, that's all for now friends thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos and reviews like this have a nice day